So the next step is to estimate or evaluate the risk. So you've identified these significant hazards at each stage of the process. And then you want to estimate the uh, level of risk from those hazards. So consider how you would do it. So you may want to use uh, a quantitative approach in which you would uh, refer to science and research in order to determine the uh, level of risk. Or you may go all the way to the other side and you're basically purely on opinion from your experience and go completely qualitative. But in between you have semi-quantitative. Now this is a bit of a loosely used term. Uh, semi-quantitative is where you add some kind of score in order to, uh, sorry, scoring system in order to help you guide your thinking. Uh, but it's not quantitative. Numbers are involved, but it is still just opinion. So it's still qualitative. So in practice for lower risk, as we said in the previous session, for lower levels of risk, then we would consider qualitative or as the level of risk crept up slightly, you would use semi-quantitative with more involved uh, scoring systems for scoring the level of risk uh, as the level of risk crept up. And if you have a high level of risk, you would use quantitative. So finally, um, it says this should probably be better articulated as uh, to devise and implement controls. So you devise and implement controls in order to ensure that you have the level of risk 